need, right, is to purchase a ham, you need the glaze that comes in the ham, you need tin foil, and you need a roasting pan. So you can use a roasting pan, whatever you want, whatever you have, that's what you're gonna use. I'm using a cast iron pan just because that's what I have. Best to use is a disposable aluminum foil pan. Because when you're working with any sugar or glaze, sugar tend to burn or, you know, it mess up your pan. There's a lot of scrubbing to get your pan back to what it's supposed to be. So you can use a aluminum foil pan and, you know, you catch your vibe. So my vibe is I'm using this cast iron pan because I want to take some pictures and I want to have the burnt sugar in there. So big, big vibe. Stay tuned for the video. Stay tuned for my vibe. And hit that like button. And if it's your first time here, hit that red subscribe button. Let's get into the vibe. Crazy Chef, the Christmas vibe with the Christmas ham. What about this ham is fully cooked. It's pre-sliced and you know Thanksgiving's right around the corner, Christmas is right around the corner, Easter is way around the corner, so you'll still need ham. So big vibe, we're gonna work on this ham. We're gonna cook it 350 at 15 minutes per pound. So write that down. 350 15 minutes per pound and remember this ham is fully cooked so once your thermometer give you 140 160 you're good to go big five then we add our glaze and you know me I gotta put that spin on it that five that big five so pretty much for your ham right you just wanna take that off so you want to take the package off. And normally, normally with washer meats, but this has been cured. So I don't think you want to wash it because it has been cured and it has uh, seasoning and stuff on there that you actually need. So all you gotta do is take this off and just take your ham and be careful not to break it because it's pre-sliced. So. Take that off, and uh, if you don't have, if you don't have one of these, uh, my skillet has uh, a gritter in there. So if you don't have a gritter, you probably want to get a. So if you don't have a gritter, you probably want to get a. Uh, what do they call it again? A a cooking cooler and you want to put it underneath so it sits up but well, mine sits up because the gritter is right there so all you gotta do now is take tin foil and as i said it's you bake it 15 minutes per pound so don't forget that 15 minutes per pound that's your so if you have five pounds it's five times 15 so it's 15 minutes per pound so you take your tin foil, right? It's not, this part is rocket sauce. Cause it's all, the biggest thing, right? Baking your ham is to get that glaze. And you wanna get that glaze. I mean, everyone wants a different type of vibe. So you wanna get that vibe with the glaze. So pretty much all you gotta do for this part is to take your tin foil. I'm not gonna have time. So this one, I think I got it. I had a hard time with the tin foil. So you want to take tin foil and you want to wrap your ham. And the reason why you wrap it is you want to make sure when you put it in your oven, like the heat goes in. So that's why you wrap it. You could have just put it in there. Most people, some people just put it in there. I want to wrap it just to make sure that the heat goes in. So you just wrap it like that and stick it in your oven. And as I said, it's 15 minutes per pound. So 
Wrap it, stick it in your oven 15 minutes per pound and then we'll do the glaze. So for the glaze, you wanna keep it as simple as, pos as possible. So this is a, right here, it says brown sugar flavored ham glaze, right? But you never wanna just stick to the regular vibe. You always wanna, as they say, soup it up, right? So we take that and we dump it out. Get it all out there. As I said, it's kind of sticky, so you gotta watch those hands, right? Then you take a little allspice, put a little allspice. Let me take this glove off, because I'm not sticking it up. I'm gonna add some more brown sugar, right? Because as I said, you never wanna just keep that regular simple vibe. And some cinnamon, so allspice, cinnamon, some brown sugar. And you know I'm an island boy, so I'm gonna add some pimento seed and a little bit of jerk spice. And then I'm gonna put that right on my stove. So that's all that is, is that jerk spice vibe. So I'm gonna put that on my stove and I'll show you what it looks like. So that's our glaze. As I said, I'm an island boy, so I have to give it a little vibe, a little island vibe. So we're gonna turn this off because we don't want it to burn its sugar. So we just shut our flame off. So as I said, it's 15 minutes per pump. And halfway along my journey, that's what my ham looks like. That's the top of my ham. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pineapple, right? I'm gonna chop them in two and I'm gonna make slices. So I'm gonna take slices of pineapple and I'm gonna stick it right in there, just like that. So as I said, I'm gonna slice my pineapple. Just like that. And I'm gonna just stick, take this guy out. So we just stick slices of pineapple in our hand. All the way. And just find the groove and just stick it in there. So just hit it with those slices of pineapple. All the way around. You can skip a few, but just try to get it right in there. Just so, just slices of pineapple all the way around. So that's our that's our ham, and as I said, we just put slices of pineapple all the way around. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a little bit of my glaze on there. So. Now I'm just gonna take my glaze and just brush it. Just a little bit, not too much. So you brush the, the pineapple, the ham, and you just, pretty much you're just painting it on just to get that first vibe. So just for a first vibe, just to start getting your, your ham uh, caramelized and stuff, you know. We're gonna put a little bit of glaze right on there. And, you know, get some right there. So let's get it right, right on. And we're now, we're to that point, we're not, we're not gonna wrap it. We're just gonna, so let's just get a nice little pour, let it drip. So we're to that point where we won't wrap it. We'll just, Put it back in there just like that so because you have the pineapple it's gonna run on the outside so don't worry so it's okay so we won't wrap it we'll just leave it just like that and we'll stick it right in the rub as i said hit that like button if it's your first time here hit that red subscribe button big five as I said, there's no vibe like a big vibe. There's no vibe like a big vibe. And this is, uh, this is official. 
this is officially what my ham is gonna be. As and I said before, and I'll say it again, right? I say it before, and I'll say it again, right? I say it before, and I'll say it again. The glaze it what is what makes the ham. Don't forget, the glaze is what makes your ham, your ham. And if you don't have this glaze right here, I'm not even gonna give you the recipe for this glaze right here. I want you to hit up the comments. So hit me up in the comment section if you wanna learn about this glaze, this island vibe that I'm giving you for my ham. Wicked. If you want to learn about this glaze, this Highland vibe, that's just, oh, marvelous, marvelous. Like you, you haven't tasted anything like this. You haven't tasted anything like this Highland vibe that I give you right here. This fucking, uh, sorry, I forget, you can't swear on YouTube but this this glaze is so good right this glaze is so good it deserves a good swear this is that island vibe this is marvelous you can't get this anywhere else that's why you come here that's why you support the big vibe. That's why you come here to catch this type of vibe. Look at this ham right here. It's marvelous. Marvelous. Good stuff. Crazy Chef, big, big vibe. If it's your first time here, hit that red subscribe button. Big, big vibe. Hit that like button. Thousand likes for this particular video. Nothing less than a thousand likes. We won't appreciate nothing less than a thousand likes for this big vibe.